Bubonic Plague, Black Death The bubonic plague is the most common form of plague caused by the bite of an infected flea. If you were a medieval peasant back in Europe, you'd stand a two out of three chance of being among the 200 million it killed. An annoying rat would take a nap on your straw bed, and within a week you'd be the new victim of the Black Death as you experienced extremely excruciating symptoms including high fever, painful swollen lymph nodes, and severe fatigue. Without antibiotics, over 70% of people who got the bubonic plague died from it. It wiped out entire towns and spread so quickly that it killed so many people that there weren't enough survivors to bury the dead. Tuberculosis Tuberculosis is a dangerous infectious disease that usually attacks the lungs. It's caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which spreads through the air when someone with it coughs or sneezes. Imagine this, it's 1890 and you begin developing a horrible cough that lasts for weeks, progressively worsening chest pains, starting to cough up blood, experiencing unbearable fatigue, a high fever, and night sweats. As the disease wore on, it would over time simply eat your lungs from the inside out. Upon your death, as the doctor opened your body to determine the cause of death, he would see your lungs resembling cheese as the bacteria had made multiple hollow holes feasting on the lungs. Without a six-month-long treatment regimen with multiple side effects, anyone who gets this disease has a 60% chance of dying. Ebola the Ebola virus, a highly lethal and terrifying disease, gained its infamous reputation due to its severe symptoms, including bleeding from multiple body organs. This virus attacks the body's immune and vascular systems, causing widespread damage. Victims often experience symptoms like fever, fatigue, muscle pain, and intense headaches before progressing to more severe stages. One example of this case would be in 2014, when one day a man would unknowingly eat contaminated meat. The next, he'd be suffering from one hallmark of Ebola's symptoms, hemorrhagic fever, which would lead to bleeding from various organs such as the eyes, nose, and gums. This bleeding is due to the virus quite literally shredding through your blood vessels, and in a last-ditch effort, your brain throws everything it has at it through a cytokine, a kind of like killing a hornet's nest with a nuclear bomb. Ebola's gruesome symptoms make its current mortality 90% of all those infected, meaning you'd have a 9 out of 10 chance of dying. Leprosy Leprosy, caused by a bacterium called Mycobacterium leprae, often starts with pale or reddish patches on the skin that are numb to the touch. If left untreated, it can cause severe nerve damage, skin lesions, muscle weakness, and paralysis. Over time, your fingers, toes, and nose would begin to fall off, leaving you disfigured permanently. However, contrary to what most believe, leprosy is only transmitted through prolonged close contact with an untreated person, but it is not highly contagious. In the past, people with leprosy were shunned from society and forced to live in colonies with other sick people as people were scared to catch it. Malaria Malaria is a severe disease caused by a parasite transmitted through the bite of infected mosquitoes. The parasite travels to the liver, which multiplies before infecting and destroying red blood cells. Symptoms usually appear within 5 to 10 days after being bitten. Malaria is so effective at invading and killing red blood cells that scientists can't come up with a way of removing them from red blood cells without killing everything in your body. Malaria can also cause anemia, convulsions, and confusion due to the widespread destruction of red blood cells by the replicating malaria parasites inside them. If untreated, the parasite load in the blood continues to increase, leading to more severe complications as the parasite continues to invade and destroy any organ it can get a hold of. Anthrax Anthrax is a bacterial infection caused by the spore-forming bacterium and could also be used as a biological weapon. Assuming you were a biological terrorist, you'd need only $9,000 to acquire the genome for anthrax spores, the lab, and materials to make your biological weapon right in the comfort of your home. Inhalation anthrax is the most severe form, typically caused by inhaling spores leading to severe respiratory symptoms. The infection spreads rapidly through the lungs and bloodstream, and as your body responds by sending its white blood cells to swallow it up, they've adapted to live inside your white blood cells. And just like the Alien movie, they burst out of your white blood cells. Rinse and repeat, and you have a body-wide catastrophe as the bacteria use your cells as fuel for its never-ending hunger 
until you die. And it's not over. The spores will wait for the next victim for years. However, thankfully, almost all cases are related to animals for now. Polio. Polio, while not a funny topic, can be understood with humor. Imagine your body as a fortress with a moat, your spinal cord, guarded by knights, your immune system. Polio is like a general sieging your castle. It's a virus that can swim through the moat, and when it successfully breaches the castle walls, your immune defenses, it causes lifelong and irreversible symptoms. It primarily affects children under the age of five and can lead to irreversible paralysis. Once it enters the body, the virus multiplies in the intestine, which can invade the nervous system and cause paralysis. However, the introduction of vaccines has significantly reduced polio cases worldwide. Tetanus Tetanus is a bacterial infection and quite a severe disease that can affect anyone within the range of a rusty playground. Tetanus bacteria are often found in soil, dust, and manure, and the infection usually enters the body through open wounds or cuts. You'd prick yourself on the playground with a rusty nail and brush it off, but little do you know that an unwelcome guest has made itself home. Once inside the body, the bacteria releases a toxin that affects the nerves, causing muscle stiffness and spasms, particularly in the jaw and neck muscles. This can lead to difficulty opening the mouth and swallowing, which is why it's called lockjaw. The severity of tetanus can be life-threatening if left untreated, resulting in the complete locking of every muscle in position, leaving you in agonizing pain for hours without an end. Cholera Cholera is a bacteria infection known for its rapid onset of severe diarrhea and dehydration, often leading to a life-threatening condition or death in less than 24 hours if not treated promptly. The bacteria are typically found in contaminated water sources or food, particularly in areas with inadequate sanitation and poor hygiene practices. When someone ingests contaminated water or food, the bacteria release a toxin in the intestines, which results in profuse watery diarrhea, vomiting, and leg cramps. It rapidly leads to severe dehydration, and without treatment, even large volumes of water consumption may not prevent the intense symptoms because the bacteria toxins make it so that you reasonably cannot physically hold anything in your stomach without severe vomiting. Mad Cow Disease Mad cow disease is a bizarre example of animal disease that can transmit to humans by eating meat. Picture a serene pasture with content cows grazing peacefully, and then suddenly one cow starts behaving like it's lost its mind. If this crazy cow was supposed to be a brain cell, that was a well-oiled machine. Tiny protein cogs work together smoothly to keep the machine running and your brain functioning correctly. Now, picture a wrong cog that's gotten bent out of shape. This is like a prison. It doesn't fit right with the other cogs and throws the whole machine out of shape. Soon, the entire machine grinds to a halt just like a prion-infected brain cell stops working correctly. In cows with mad cow disease, this malfunctioning happens in many brain cells leading to spongy holes and a decline in brain function. That's why they might stumble, behave oddly, or even become aggressive. The scary part is that this rogue cog problem can be contagious. If you eat meat from an infected cow, the prion can jump into your brain and start twisting your cogs too. This is how humans can get variant Creutzfeldt-Jakob's disease, VCJD, the human form of mad cow disease. Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD. Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD, is a mysterious and perplexing puzzle in brain disorders like its cow counterpart. Again, imagine your brain as an intricate jigsaw where every piece has a specific role and place. CJD, however, is like that annoying puzzle piece that doesn't fit but insists on disrupting the entire picture. This condition is once again caused by misfolded proteins called prions. These prions act like troublemakers at a perfectly organized party, causing chaos and confusion. They convince other proteins in your brain to misfold, setting off a chain reaction of neurological mayhem. As it progresses, it also erases the parts of the puzzle. Memory loss, cognitive decline, muscle spasms, and personality changes blur the once clear image. The puzzle becomes increasingly disordered until communication and movement are lost entirely. 
unlike a puzzle you can complete, there's no solving to CJD. It's a rare and devastating condition with no known cure leaving healthcare professionals and researchers puzzled by its complexity and impact on the brain. Brain-Eating Amoeba Negleria fowleri, often called the brain-eating amoeba, is a microscopic organism that lurks in warm freshwater environments such as lakes, rivers, and hot springs. Imagine dipping in warm, natural water on a hot summer day. Most of the time, it's a delightful experience, but occasionally, if the conditions are just right, Negleria fowleri might enter the nose. Once inside, it travels up the olfactory nerve and can cause an extremely severe brain infection. This amoeba's presence in the brain can lead to symptoms like severe headaches, fever, nausea, and a stiff neck, making it feel like a science fiction plot unfolding in real life. Unfortunately, PAM is typically swift and almost always fatal, with a meager survival rate. Familial Fatal Insomnia FFI. Familial fatal insomnia is quite possibly the definition of a waking nightmare. A person slowly loses their ability to sleep, and as they do, their mind and body unravel like a chilling thriller. However, it is an exceedingly rare genetic disorder caused by a mutation in your genes. The nightmare begins with insomnia, which worsens over time, leading to a complete and irreversible loss of sleep. As sleep deprivation intensifies, patients experience hallucinations, delirium, and severe psychiatric symptoms, almost like something out of a surreal horror story. Ultimately, FFI leads to a total breakdown of the body's functions, resulting in death. Kuru Kuru is a fatal brain disease causing neurological degeneration. However, one thing is added to the mix, cannibalism. In this one, Kuru emerged as a result of consuming the brains and nervous tissues of deceased relatives during their mortuary feasts. The name Kuru itself means to shiver or trembling in fear, which aptly describes the symptoms that would eventually haunt those who partook in this ritual. Victims would experience muscle tremors, loss of coordination, and a disturbing inability to control their movements. The end stages of Kuru resulted in a state of profound debilitation and death, often within a year of symptom onset. Perhaps another reason on the already long list of why eating people is a horrible idea. Rabies Rabies is an illness caused by a virus that makes animals and people go rabid with symptoms such as uncontrollable bursts of rage and is the most lethal disease on Earth. In this unsettling tale, the rabies virus is transmitted through the bite of an infected animal infiltrating the nervous system and causing madness and terror. Once human symptoms appear, they're nothing short of a terrifying thriller. Fear of water, severe hallucinations, and violent spasms are just some of the horrifying effects. What's even scarier is that 98% of all rabies cases lead to a tragic end soon after symptoms appear, and once they do, it's nearly always fatal.